heard this before. So <laughs> what is it that you mean by that, Ginger? Our mothers, naive as our told us to marry for love, right? But what will love bring you? Nothing but heartache and trouble. No, <laughs> if you treat the marriage like a project, you can end up with all kinds of benefits. Oh, well, I'm a young bride and I didn't get married for benefits. I got married for love. Michelle, yeah. you're a fool. What are you calling her for? Oh, yeah. It's a bitterness in her. Listen, oh, listen to me. Max, come here, tell me something. What do you really want from your marriage to Danny? You're going to tell me, right, Mystic Man? Okay. Security, right? Stability, pension plan, mm. shared income, etc. <laughs> right? Then now, the man asks you, what do I get from you? And you answer him, I will bear your children. They're your children too, Ginger. Your yeah. children as well. Whatever. Then you know, with your foolish self, go promise him fidelity yes. and that you won't get too fat. Yes. Uh -huh. You also promise to care for him when he's sick and old. What's oh wrong with my that? God. Girlfriend, listen to it now. Then now the man asks you, what about sex? How often will I get it? Mm. Once, twice a week, and what about weekends and holiday? Girlfriend, remember telling us something? Try tell the man not if you're sick or a headache. If he agrees to your term, you say, okay, sign here. There you go, girls. Sign, seal, delivered. Kathleen, <laughs> I think you're wrong. Marriage is just like love. It needs time to grow, and it needs nourishment to flourish. Yes, yes. Right. honey, time this girl don't have. I'm not surprised. Ah, uh, well, yes. I'd like Listen to think to that, my husband. I'd like to think that I'm getting married for love. Oh. I'm not what I can get out of a man. <laughs> Look at my husband, JP. Real idiot. Aren't you still married to him? Huh? Aren't you still married to him, though? JP, honey, is like a strong, firm tree with money. And me, I the leech will latch on to that. Mm -hmm. Don't you get it, girls? As females, we are led by our DNA, like lambs to the slaughter. Pleading with a man, marry me, marry me. We're behaving like zombies. Girls, you need to wake up. Ah. And my parents been married for 45 years, and I've never heard them say a bad word about each other. Yeah. Yeah. Well, girls, listen to me. Ask your mother if she still love your father, and you know what you will say? <laughs> I don't hate him. <laughs> and I don't love him. <laughs> anyway, who the Lord said it's still fun to him. <laughs> because I can't do no better now. <laughs> well, I refuse to believe it's that simple, Ginger. I mean, our parents might have married for benefits without realizing it, but it's different these days. <gasps> Women have got much more choice than our mothers did. Mm. That's right. Yeah. Well, hold on, Ginger. Are you saying that marriage is just much ado about nothing? Absolutely. Oh. And can I give you the classic excuse women come up with listening. about four years into I'm their marriage? Listening. It goes something like this. Oh, there is just so much to do. Oh, the children, the housework, the cooking, the cleaning. I can't even take care of myself anymore. I know, girls, because I've been there, done that. Oh. Mm. Well, listen, girl. I don't want to rain on your parade. Uh -huh. but I I think I'm quite comfortable enough in my own skin to know how to love and respect my man. Yeah. As Chloe says, <laughs> we are in <laughs> our <own>. In which <laughs> life? <laughs> in which life? No woman in my lifetime or yours is ever going to be equal to a man, no care how much you earn. <laughs> oh, come on, Ginger. Listen to me. All you ever do is deceive your men. <laughs> so what do you know? <laughs> how long you think Max and, uh, and Daniel go last? Do I look like a bookie? Two year, three year. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Come on, man. Change your wife. Why don't you just do us a favor and leave? <laughs> go on, leave. Uh, really? Yeah, why don't you just leave? <laughs> no, she can't. Because you know what? It's all about attention, attention, attention. No. Do, you, do you know what, Max? Sounds like you're a bit jealous of a Danny and Max. I think so too, but why? Yeah. Are you saying what I think you're saying? That Ginger wants my man? Maybe. Yeah. I think so. I mean, she slept with everyone's man that we know of. Even mine. <laughs> yeah. But 
when we had it with Max Mann. Well, you're, you're always so negative about relationships, and theirs in particular. <laughs> look, Max is so happy. I mean, look at that little face. Mm. To stop oh. his doom and gloom and let him enjoy their happiness. Yeah. Thank friend. you, Chloe. Thank you're you. Welcome. How could I be so evil as to try and trick trick that in a lie? Eh? I couldn't live with myself for being so devious. Girlfriend, all I'm saying is that they are called men, and in the end, they will betray you. Oh, How the fuck do you know what I'm What's with you two? And you've been fucking him as well? Oh, oh, Go ahead. Yeah, come on. We'd like to know how much of a yeah. true friend you really are. Yeah, so, so we can keep our men from the likes of you. All me adults are telling her the truth. I don't want no one beat her for that. No, 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 no. You're projecting your version of the truth, Ginger. Your hang-ups, your baggage onto our lives. Oh, well, honey, nobody's perfect. Oh. Well, I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to do what's best for me and Danny. Okay. Max, we must have boundaries for our oh, men. No, 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 no. no. Sure. I mean, Chloe's right. You're trying to put your sordid thoughts in our heads so that we can start mistrusting our men and become all bitter and twisted like mm. you. Girlfriend, do you know what a wife stands oh, for? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Washing, cooking, ironing, and fucking. Uh, all in that order. Well, my husband's a wonderful man. Look. Uh, I've been married for five years. I don't regret a minute I've spent with him. Oh, Oscar. Yeah. Let me tell you, the most important thing in the relationship is to talk. Talk, talk, talk. Just keep on talking. Oh, no, I idiot, you idiot. Man don't care what we have to say. Them don't care what we have to say. All I'm interested in is what is between our legs. Oh. And personally, girlfriend, I will sleep with any man to get what I want. Oh. We know that. We know you're cheap. <laughs> Just cheap, cheap, cheap. Look who's talking. <laughs> Girlfriends, listen to me. Listen to me, girls. This girl, love our fuck. Oh, my God. Come on. Me like when a man cock up my foot in the air. Oh, man, no. I make me feel pain. It's what? So when a man sleep around, it's OK? Uh, is that what you're all saying? Huh? What's wrong with a little variety? Oh, all right, even. AIDS, no, honey. This girl always have our condom. No. Rough rider. Oh, and just in case she needs a little help, extra help, honey, coming up, Miss Summers. <laughs> well, personally, I don't see the point of sex without love. Just makes you sad. <laughs> what time is it? What time is it? What are you talking no, about? No, 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 no. Nobody needs to know the time, because we're not leaving here until we're legless. Waiter! You know what? You're really clever, Ginger. You know, you wear a mask to hide your true feelings, but, you see, underneath it all, you're a victim, aren't you, really? You know, you despise men for taking away your power, but this indifference towards them, well, it, it's all just a front, isn't it? You've actually been really hurt, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why you despise men, isn't it? It's because they took away all your power. You see, then it's because you're afraid of them. So, do you consider yourself a giving person, then, Ginger? Oh, yes, honey. This girl sure gives. <laughs> then why don't you go home and say thank you to your husband? <laughs> why should I thank a man I hate? Should be lucky I haven't left him yet. <laughs> so why are you still with him? Financial security. Mm. Plus, he would be lost mm. like a baby you? without me. <laughs> well, why don't you go home and tell him thank you for that? Ah, uh, scared. <laughs> Because telling the man thanks for financially supporting you might mean you need him for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you see, yeah. the trouble with you, Ginger, is that you're desperately searching for something to complete your life when you can't see it standing there right in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> riddle me this, riddle me that, guess me the riddle and parrots not. Ginger, you've been soft, yeah. bitch! <laughs> All right then, ladies and gents, listen up. Tonight is a very special night for a young lady who's here called Maxine. Maxine, are you there? All right, darling, you've got to get yourself down on that dance floor right now. Your friends have got a special surprise for you.
to sit down. Just tell me where my daughter is. Please. Hmm? Mr. and Mrs. Wilder, we were, uh, we were called to your home at 4 a.m. this morning by your neighbours. They heard screaming coming from this house. Look, uh, I'm afraid I have some rather sad news for you about your daughter, Nicole. She's... She's been murdered. Nicole! Murdered! Look, uh, I realise this must come as a shock to you, but I'm afraid I must ask you some questions. Where were you tonight, sir? Why was Nicole left home on her own? I was... I was... I was just half an hour. Half an hour. I, mm -hmm. I, I put Nicole to bed at about seven o'clock. I, I checked the doors and the windows were locked. I drove, drove my wife to a hen party and then I came straight back. How long did that take, sir? I, I, 20, 30 minutes. You know, and, and th then I went upstairs, and, and I and I checked on Nicole, and, and she was fast asleep. It's now seven in the morning. <laughs> By my calculations, you left your daughter home alone all night. Your wife was at a hen party, yes? You, sir, where were you? I I was just down the road at my neighbour's, Jean Paul, having a quick drink. <laughs> all night. Yeah, I came back and I, I checked on Nicole and, and she was fine. Hmm. Before she was killed. What do you mean? Well, it's, uh, it's been raining heavily tonight, sir. Can't help but notice that you're still dry. <laughs> I said I was just down the road at my neighbour's having a quick drink. Of course you were, sir. Well, you can go and check if you want, detective. What? You think I did this? You think I murdered my own daughter? It's not unheard of, sir. Well, you can go and look somewhere else. Well, look, if you're innocent... What do you mean, if? We didn't kill Nicole. You both arrived home at exactly the same time. How do you explain that? My wife sent me a text asking me to pick her up. Really? Look, listen, Inspector. You go and find my daughter's killer, all right? Go and find the man that killed my daughter! Man? <laughs> How do you know it was a man? Well, I just assumed it was a man! Well, we don't assume, sir. We deal in facts. Look. I know the first people you have to suspect these days are the parents, but you, surely you can't believe that we would hurt her. Mm. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Detective Inspector Maygrave. Well, Detective, please, just leave. Mrs Wilder, this is a crime scene. I'm afraid my investigations are a long way from being finished. I don't care. My little girl is dead and you're treating us like suspects, asking us these ridiculous questions. Would you like to be taken to see your daughter's body? No, I don't. No? Hmm. I assume you well, want to see Well, don't assume your... anything. <laughs> Quite right, Mrs Wilder. I'd like to see her. Funny. As her mother, well, I would have thought you'd, um... Yeah. Obviously, I'm wrong. Got children of your own, Detective? Yes. 
I have seven beautiful girls. Well, you don't know what it's like to, to lose your own child, do you? Your own flesh and blood. I want to remember my daughter as she was, young and full of laughter, not flying on a cold slab in a morgue or coat. As you wish, Mrs. Wilder. Inspector. My wife is Nicole's stepmother. Really, sir? I wasn't aware of that. And I loved her with all my heart, you must believe now, me. No, I'm not the one you have to convince. Look, a few things are puzzling me. You were both out at the same time, yes? And? Well, you should be aware that I know from our records about the death of your other daughter, Natasha. So, it seems this is not the first time one of your... Listen, we were cleared of all charges. Natasha's death was not our fault. Nothing ever seems to be your fault, madam. Your first child also died in suspicious circumstances as far as I'm concerned, so if it wasn't your fault, whose fault was it? How dare you speak to me like this? Your daughter is dead, Mrs Wilder, and I, for one, would like to get to the bottom of it. Well, I refuse to tolerate any more of your ridiculous accusations regarding my daughter, Detective... Step daughter, Mrs Wilder. I know you're hiding something. I'll get to the bottom of it. I promise you that. Detective! Don't you even want to know how your precious little stepdaughter died, madam? No. Well, maybe I should tell you. That little girl was raped. <laughs> she was strangled <laughs> and she was stabbed four times. Stop, stop, in her stomach, stop, in her chest, in her neck and in her back. <laughs> that is how your precious little stepdaughter met her fate. Left alone in this house all night. <laughs> People like you make me sick. I love that little girl. Yeah, so you keep saying. You're a good old man. I want you out of here. Get out, get out! If you're going to charge us, do it. No? Well, get out. Yeah. And take your vile accusations with you. This is happening to us. How can one family be cursed with such luck? I have one further question. No! <laughs> It'll only take a moment. We're done here, Inspector. We're done! OK. I'll come back tomorrow. I think the universe is trying to tell us something. Just one more thing. <laughs> You're a persistent bastard, aren't you? <laughs> Who's Mavis? Why? She another one of your... What are you um, implying? That your husband is a liar. Leave, detective. As you wish. So who is Mavis? Don't you turn your back on me. What do you want from me, Chloe? Stop lying to me. I've got no reason to lie to you. You're a man, aren't you? So, this one pregnant too? Which one of them? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? I've always been faithful to you. You don't right to do this to me. What about the children? Any of them mine? Why you slap me again? Listen. I've got something to tell you, right? And it never seems like there's going to be a right moment for it. So, I'm leaving you. To go where? Leave, leaving me? I don't understand. I've met someone else and we've fallen in love. What? I can't believe you're doing this to me. Listen, Chloe, I'm not setting out to hurt you or anything, but it just seemed to happen that way, all right? Well, say something. What do you want me to say? I knew it was coming. Well, 
Didn't suspect a thing, Oscar. Not a thing. I love you. I can't believe you're doing this to, to me, to us. How can you do it? I just don't love you the way you love me. And as every day goes by, I find myself wanting to be with her more and more and more. Why didn't you say something to me? I didn't want to hurt you. What are you doing now? How long has it been going on? For four years. Four years? Four years you've been lying to me. Making love to another woman, cheating on me four years. You're pathetic. No wonder you didn't want to say something to me. I wanted to tell you. But I just couldn't bring myself to doing it. I wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing. And then as the years went by, I just found myself going through the motions. I had no desire for you. No feelings for you. And that's when I realised that our relationship was dead. Not for me. So there's no hope then? I'm sorry. Come on, Oscar. Don't do this to me. We, we, we can get things back the way they were. We it's... can do the fire, get the magic back again. No, oh, good, darling. I mean, there's just so many different things, you know, and plus, you've just got fat. <laughs> OK. Okay, so if I, uh, if I lose weight, will you come back then, eh? I mean, this is all your fault anyway. You're always so negative about me. I've lost all my confidence. I can't even take my clothes off in front of you anymore. That's a good thing. <laughs> Look. I'm not trying to say this to hurt you, but Chloe, you're fat and you've got no shape. But and Oscar... I don't you to try and make no excuses, Chloe. You could have gone down the gym. I can do better, Oscar, I can. No. You just don't do it for me anymore. This isn't fair. You're my, my whole world. Look, this isn't getting us anywhere, all right? I don't enjoy making love to you anymore. And every time we do it, it's just like the same old, same old. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm going to take my DVD and my record collection. That's all I'm going to take, yeah? I've phoned the bank and I've made provisions for the mortgage to be paid and plus payment to you. Don't you do this, Oscar. I'm telling you, you regret it. You don't know what you're losing. So tell me about her. What could that do? Help me come to terms with the situation. We can still be friends, Chloe. Friends? Friends? Have you lost your mind? You stick your DNA in an old genetic cesspool. Don't you care where your sperm ends up? Listen, Chloe. You know I love you. <laughs> and the least you can do is be happy for me. <laughs> That's her. Well, I'm happy for you. Do you mean that? Yes! <laughs> so pretty. And so young. How old is she? 21. 21! Classy Oscar. How am I 
supposed to compete with that. I don't expect you to. I'm nearly 40. <laughs> don't cry, Chloe. I'm not. You're leaving me with no hope. I mean, I'm your wife. Don't shake your head, I am. You are a mistake. And I'm just trying to be as gentle as possible. So, I suppose she's good in bed? What? Just tell me. Oh, yeah. She's wicked in bed, man, I'm telling you. The amount of positions that girl can get me in. And she can go all night. You see, it's too much information, isn't it? <laughs> Dolska, come and sit beside me. I believe you're leaving me now. Now of all times when I need you more than ever. I'm so sorry, darling. I feel as though I've deceived you. <laughs> I feel so ashamed. <laughs> no matter what, I am bound to you, Oscar. And I will never, ever give up on you. and strong. Ooh, that's my boy. Come on, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Bam bam. Uh, mm, uh, ooh, uh, uh, mm. I don't know much longer. I don't know much longer. I can't keep this up, you know. Come to man.
Sarah the man foot. This is what you should be doing. Now go in the bathroom and wait until I come. Now. What do you think? How old are you? My husband. Damn me, the athlete, young baby. A fool. Yeah, baby, back to where we were, baby. Come on. Yeah, baby. Ah, oh, ah, oh. yeah, baby. Ah, oh. work, 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 yeah, baby. Work that body. Yeah, 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 How much more oil? 50 pounds. 50 pounds. Good boy. Now don't let Bam Bam put you anywhere else. Hear my baby. Mwah. Black stallion. Yeah, man. Yeah, give me too much. That's for a job well done. <laughs> and for lasting more than two minutes. Big man. Respect my boss. You have a lovely wife. Take good care of her. You see me? Remember your shoes. <sighs> Why, Ginger? Why can't you see how much you are hurting me? Me never know me I hurt you, honey. Hush. I'm your husband. Why did you call me away from my job under false pretense? So that I can come home and witness another man making love to you? Who, Bam Bam? He was only fucking me. Okay? You know, answer that. No! Answer the damn door. <laughs> Before my box, you know. Box me.
audience. Tell him what I do to you. JP, you gonna make a good dirty girl talk to you, sir. Start a show me, a show me. Where you want to do about it, Batty boy? Come, Batty boy, come. Come, Batty boy. Batty boy, come. Hey, hey, girl, this is you. You, 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 just, you just like the high maintenance work. Ah, uh, come. No. Don't stop him. Why you stop him for JP? Make him come. How can you get a man born? Born him, yes, to my pussy. <laughs> No, make him box me. Don't stop him. Make him box me. Snapper, you hurt me once. Never again. Hey, girl, me hurt you. Because when we live there with you, your pussy is stretched out. Because you couldn't manage the work. Ginger! This is between you and I, not between you and Snapper. What you two had was over a long time. Where you go? Come here to me. I apologize. I want to Stop. I'm sorry for raising my voice at you. JP box girl. You're not my keeper. Yes, I am. I'm your husband, and I came home and caught you, you and that... Oh, yes, yeah. so what you got about it? And for the record, I wanted you to catch me in action, to show you how it's done. Till you get out of my life. Is this the way you treat our marriage? <laughs> I have only ever loved you. And what is so funny? No, you. <laughs> You call this marriage? It's not even where the shit paper it's written on. So what then? What are you married a man for? For money, no money, no love. So why you never tell him that before you're married to I him? I did, honey, see him to ask him. JP, sure, JP, sure, JP. Look, look for her, look for her. She too old to breed, eh? And too violent to keep as a pet. <laughs> JP, honey, I did make love to Bam Bam, okay? The Pepsi and Coke that I drank did was me, all right, baby? I was drunk. Clear out, take a clear out! I'm my line not to be used by you when you catch me that other woman. Clear? I'm my line not, and I brand the and Coke, me say. Pepsi and Coke can't jump nobody. That's right, none at all. Cha, sure, look for you, you just have to grab and flee. Wash, wipe up your face. Honey. Where did we go wrong? We? From the start. How many more chances can I give you? Honey. I'm trying to do the best that I can with you. Don't patronize me. <laughs> I want you to look at me. Listen to me. Love me for who I am. <laughs> Our father watching has <laughs> Give me strength. Why is it that I always choose women that are emotionally crippled? Stop. That's why I need to trust her, you know. As a matter of fact, I don't trust no woman. Because yeah. you can't control them. And me, to you, Ginger, me, to you. Team who? You try to impose your will on me, but as we all know, it never work. Because no man can ever tame Ginger. None. Uh, JP, let me tell you something. JP, listen to me good here. You see, woman, woman are the only creature from Master God Earth. We bleed for seven days and are dead. Yeah. <laughs> Over where it 
Ginger with all my heart. And I don't care what you may think of her. Why did you say you were here anyway? I was. A private matter, just in your ears, my big friend, my family. No, listen. Ginger. Let me... Please. Tell me what I am doing wrong so that I can make it right. You know, have your friend to keep you company. Ginger, please. I want our relationship to work. I don't want to lose you. Please. Tell me what to do so I can make it right. JP, get on with your life. Leave me alone with mine. I have Bam Bam. He's young, he's strong. I don't need you. And how long do you think that will last? He's just using you. I am reliable. I can give you security. What are you going to do when he leaves you? Honey, I'm just living in the moment and enjoying each moment while it lasts. You have no idea what you're dealing with, do you? I will have my revenge on you, you and all men. Then it will be complete. See, one day, you're going to miss me. <laughs> Just like I miss you. <laughs> one day, you're going to cry for me. Just like I cried for you. One day, you're going to need me just like I need you. One day you're going to love me, and I am not going to love you. Perish the thought. Ginger. Ginger. How oh, ginger. <laughs> <laughs> star, star, yo! Stop the cold balling, man! Stop the cold balling, man! Cha! A big man, stop the cold balling, man! How can I snap her? I love her! <laughs> Love, 
legs, witty banter, you know? You mean from you? That's a school, man. A relationship, a child, alcohol, anything, we can, let me tell you, it's simple. It's just supply and demand, yeah? It's, it's, it's economics, sir, it's economics. Let me tell you, you see when them start, when, when you bet the demand and them start, you start supply and them start come to eat, then you start move back little, pull out little. Let me tell you, stop pick up them picnic from school. Yeah? Disappear for days. Stop sending them flowers, yeah? Do answer them phone call. And then no, well, they all of a sudden they start get frustrated and I wonder what are going on, you know? And they start to think so they can't live without you. At that time, no, you start to get some sweet fuck from them. Star, let me tell you. But you see when the fuck start to get steel, star, you just move out fast, yeah? And then that mess up her head and she start to think to herself, what she do wrong? And she start fight to get you back. And did you go back? Yes, sometime, but only for one or two nights and then that's it. You move again. Star, let me tell you, man. Ginger is, Ginger is just bored with you because you're always here. Women need inconsistency, yeah? They, let me tell you, man. They, 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 they want a snapper to keep them guessing, yeah? Let me tell you, all women here. Women, they want a quick fuck, yeah? Star, sometimes you just come home and you just look at yourself. One bomb, thank you, ma'am. Star. Upstairs. What for? Me, me have a new girl, Moan Saka Saka. And what about using an hotel? Hotel? Start with me a money for years. But plus, yeah, me, don't, me don't have a girl can fuck. Hey, you remember what happened to me the last time? Yes, Snapper. You went to see this girl. You had an accident while you were coming. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you a story or mine? It's yours, Snapper. Yes, start let me tell it then now. But I am tired of hearing it. Okay, Snapper, tell me the story. Start! You remember, you remember Betty? You look a dirty Christian girl from Welling Barrow. Start! I got a girl call me up, you know. Yeah, call me up, you know, and tell me she must come spend the night with her. JP, a four time, I ask the girl if she's sure. A four time, the girl answer me and say, yes, she's sure. Tonight, we're going to contaminate the relationship, right? Because, but, cut. Start! You don't know me, you know. If within the first week, we don't jump down at the drawers, relationship done, you hear me, remember me tell you, done. And you think that's enough time to get to know her? JP, me don't want to marry the girl, you know. So, after me tell you, JP, you remember the brand new SUV you buy? Me yes. jump in on the brand new SUV you know, buy, JP. And say, see me a drive for a welling bar. JP, I would say, me demand some land on the welling bar this. And JP, you know me drive slow already. I turn to me, you take me for reach up there, you hear? JP, and the way you know, all me a think about, you know, what me I go do with the girl, you know, star? What kind of position me I go put in? I wonder what kind of dress you have with everything, you know? Let me start, start, me I start thinking, say, boy, it's going to get boring because she a Christian, we only go do it in a missionary position. But start, but start, me just forget about that, you know, star, me just drive and go on. JP, you said me reach the girl, yard. You mean Betty? Yeah, 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 Betty, Betty, star, you said me reach the girl, yard. Yeah. Star, you know, JP, yeah, 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 me, you, me, you, me, you, star. We say, me is, yeah, you know how man go on already. When me tell you how man go on already. So, me go is there, you know. And me kick out my shoes and me sit down. Sit down for a while. And she give me a Red Bull and me drink off that fast. Cause you, me don't, me don't prepare up myself already, you know. Cause you me know, say, you pum pum. Me do ready feet already, you know, star. So, after me sit down there, you know, star. One hour pass. I mean, it's not now go on. So, me say, if you're the first move. So, me take out my trousers. Hear her to me, you know. What you doing? Well, maybe she had a change of mind. Change of which Ross, man. She know where me come there for. She know where she ever get to here. So me you now say to her, say, what you mean? Star, she know answer me. So me sit down there again and me watch her. Me I say, and if I me hold my head here, me now. Me I go to bed. Here, you know, we do. <laughs> me say, JP, John Bull just dead same time. Star, here the girl to me now. Of course, I want 
you to spend the night, but in a hotel by yourself, so we can go to church to get any money. He said, JP, we nearly ball in a JP. I know you couldn't believe me a year. So what happened next? So I don't remember what happened next, you know, because I'm so vexed, you know. Me just grab my trousers by the waist, you know, and dry my outside, you know, JP. JP, you know, me so, so brief. Yeah. JP, you remember me telling you, say, it take me 30 minutes to reach a welling bar, and 15 minutes it take me to reach back a London, JP. Yeah, 15 minutes, sir. When me walk through my door, I slam the door, every window in our flat chair, JP. When we jump in on my SUV, you know, me open the window and I blast the music. Driver, do not stop at all. Yeah. You hear me, star? JP, you say me a driver come, me to get to the window, who open me, you know, one swarm of bees, must be for migration from Africa. Come in at the van for me, JP. JP, me to get to your drive, me a driver, so me check out. JP! JP! When me drop in a star, me just drop splat, yeah? The van, the van in you know, a star, run and wrap on one tree, mash up, uh, yeah, me mash up. Uh. You mean it was right off? No, it never right off, it mash up. Uh. Star, me say, star, me say, star, me say, look out, part of me in a star. JP, me broke my hand, me broke my foot, me sprayed me eyelash. You ever see that? JP. JP, me a tell you a star. Me say, you know, star, me broke up with the wine, no. JP. The police come and they arrest me for dangerous driving. You see when the paramedics come, blood will come from all about me and JP. JP is nearly dead. You know how much days we spend at the hospital. And if we could have dead, I'll look as a little Christian girl. No, Snapper, it's not because of her. So now what? It's because of the vagina. That's yeah. what mashed up your car and nearly cost you your life. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you know, JP, you're right. What a man who do for your little pussy. Tell me something, Snapper. Why didn't you try a little intimacy? You know that most women would prefer a little intimacy before actual sex, you know. I wanna just Snap. 
Jennifer, don't be ridiculous because you're not that good. Hey! If you're not a girl, I'll show you. But start. Anyway, start, start. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I'll anyway, show you, man. I'll show you, man. man. Can you see this new girl? You, know? you see this new girl? What do you mean? Does, doesn't she have a name? Well, I can't do anything. You didn't bother to find out the young lady's name. JP, I'm not saying such a thing, you know. You can't ask me this new girl. You can't the new girl in the star. When you look on her, you know, her, her face starts to out the star. It's like, girl, you look on twice. But just when you can't turn around, I'm going to see the backside. I saw John Bull, get up now. JP! I said, I'm going to pull the ball across the room. One night, he couldn't go down back in the JP. Snapper. Huh? What else do you know about this young lady? She married and she had two picnic. Now, that should be a good fuck. Why? Yes, when you're married and you're a like piece, that's sweet, you know, JP. And what do you want? And what are you going to do about this young lady's ugliness? JP, you're no man. And what do you just put a pillow over her face and turn it back away? Yeah? And what do you, JP? And what do you, JP? Wait! Kung Fu? Are you this Kung Fu? Wait, yo, you, you, you are. <laughs> JP, you never tell me that your father is living with you. How you do? Oh, you, you keep playing soon, dead, do a man. One day, it will happen to you. Hey, any day that happened to me, kill myself. So, you're still not talking to me. We can't go on like this. You're still my son. Don't you dare use that word in your mouth. You were just a sperm donor who had intercourse with my mother and left her to die. You're right, I deserve it. But no, I'm crippled with cancer and a stroke. And I want to make amends. But whatever you say, I did the best I could for you back then. For who? For my mother? That's all you old people can say. I did the best I could. Well, it wasn't good enough. For me or for the thousands of young men out there. Well, what's done's done. Not for me. You walked out on my mother knowing how much she loved you. Mother turned to drugs and alcohol because of you. Are you proud of yourself? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but she was not your responsibility. That's right, she wasn't mine, she was yours. I know, I know, my son, I know. You're my firstborn. All I want for you is to call me dad. Please, John Paul, just call me dad. Why? So you can go and boast and pretend as if you were a good father? Meet my big son? You would love that, wouldn't you? What do you want from me? Why do you hate me? Don't you realize how many women damage their boy children when men like you run off with someone better? Black women take out their hatred and their revenge on the boy child that's left behind. You don't know anything. Whenever she looked at me, she saw you. I have nothing but contempt for you. God needed me. I needed you, me, your son. You should have told God to wait. How could I choose my son over my God? God doesn't exist. He's just a figment of your imagination. Yeah, what kind of man can choose God over my son? Eh? No wonder why you keep playing soon dead. Just shut up, boy. Shut up. I was not speaking to you. <laughs> Jump on, give me a chance. I haven't changed, I'm still the same man. Well, I have. What do you know about me? Do you know who brought me up? Do you know who my role models were? Do you know whom I turned to for answers on how to be a man? Those stupid reggae and rap artists who don't know shit. <laughs> you know, I always thought that you left because of me, because I wasn't worth staying for. You destroyed me. I am still your father. Now that it suits you, tell me what it means to be a father then. I didn't come back because you killed your real mother. Don't pass the buck, just be a man. You know how many days mother sat and waited and wished that one day you would just walk back through the doors? But she waited in vain, and she never forgave me. You don't listen to me. I said you killed your real mother, not me. The woman who brought you up was not your birth mother. 
So what well, she was a fake mama. <laughs> Is this one of your versions of the truth? No, Jean-Paul. It's the God's truth. And it's time I put the record straight. What? Are you saying that the woman who I called my mother all my life is not my real mother? She was your aunt. When your mother died, I left you with her. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You was having an affair with JP auntie, who him thinks I'm mama, while you did the steal there with him real mama? She trapped me. Trap you, don't lie. Was this before or after my real mother died? Before. Didn't you love my mother? I did, but uh -huh, I'm also a man who loves women. I took care of you financially then, and now it's your turn to take care of me. Financially? My mother couldn't even afford PE kit for me at school. I had to wear my school shoes to play football in. Not to mention the thousands of school trips that I never went to because we were so poor. Financially, I don't even know you. Your mother. Why the affair? And with our own sister. You wouldn't understand. Try me. When I was a young man, I was the girliest, you know? Gifted down there, and all the women were after me because I was so cute. <laughs> you, you, my friend, a gollies. <laughs> you could have fooled me. Gifted down there. And how many women did you impregnate because you were so cute? About 30. But I did love your mother. 30? Yes. So there are about 30 little kung fu's running around who have no idea about each other. Yes. And you're proud of yourself? No, I'm not. You can't say that you love someone and then go around and have 30 relationships while you're still with them. I don't care what you say. I loved your mother, but I hated you. Oh. God, how I hated oh, you. Oh, so it was my fault. Your real mother forced me to save your life over hers. There were complications with the delivery, and the doctors had to choose one of you, to save one of you. In the last moment, she made me swear that I would save you and bring me up. But I've forgiven you. <laughs> Forgive me. I feel better already. We are a family again. I want you to meet your brothers and sisters. Listen, old man. I might wear glasses, but I am not blind. We were never a family, and we will never be a family. Your other offsprings that you have, I want nothing to do with them or you. So why are you taking those pills, old man? You're soon dead. Thank you, thank you, Ginger, for caring. I might as well be dead. I'm taking the tablets because my wife wants me to perform. <laughs> what do you mean perform? What do you mean perform? Sex, boy. I don't know how to, what to do with this anymore. She wants sex every night, and I could lose her, and it's, it, it, it's killing me. <laughs> but how can I tell her that I'm not interested in having sex anymore without her leaving me? Oh. Sex? Sorry, the, what do I like? What can I do? Me never know say you need pill for use your tongue. <laughs> but that you can't fool, come in a you can't do. I tell you what you do, can't fool. Care to me, and when me done with that, me care back to you. What you say? So tell me something, how old she is? Where you question the man for? How old she is? She'll be 28 next birthday. And you're almost 80. What's wrong with you? You old man better than you. <laughs> At least him can stand up. Let me see you back. Let me see you back. Let me see you back. Be reactive. Snapper, what are you doing, man? Huh? Right, just in case something dropped on my lap, you know? <laughs> where key, where key, where key, JB? What key? Don't you bother with that again. Oh, say, so fine, a new girl. 
Delicious know about it. Do I care? What the hide us in the oh, no grieve? Okay, okay. <laughs> Ginger, do you trust me? JP, we're back on that again? For the last time, JP. You're too weak for me, okay? I need a strong man. But I am strong, Ginger. <laughs> Not because I cry, that doesn't mean that I am weak. <laughs> I am strong, and I am going to prove it to you because I have had Enough of you! Who are you talking to like that? You, you big shit! You can go and live with your little renter boy and let him support you from now on. And you see if you're thinking of taking me to court? Mm -hmm. I'll burn this shit down to the ground before you get anything from me. Come on, kick it, You wanted a bad man? All right. You just come and test me now. Who the fuck side is that? are you? Another one of my wife's conquests, huh? Actually, sir, I'm Detective Inspector May Grain. Oh. And I'm here to see your wife, Miss Ginger Williams. What, what for? I have a warrant for your arrest. <laughs> for the what? attempted murder of a minor. Murder? I, I haven't murdered anybody. No! That's right, I'm still locked up our box, sir. <laughs> I did murder. We found your fingerprints on a murder weapon, madam. You mean on the knife? How do you know it was a knife? You said it was a knife. I didn't mention the type of weapon. No, I didn't murder anybody. The delicious and Chloe, they are the ones that are trying to frame Mrs. me. Mrs. Williams, please come with us. We can sort it out down at Scotland no, Yard. No, I'm not going nowhere. No, the snapper is you. JP, please, JP, just help me. Help me, please, JP. No, JP, no. You know how much I love you. I love you, JP. Oh, so you're a 
ashamed of me, Snapper. So you're not ashamed of yourself? Eh? When you're on the street, you're supposed to be risen representing me. And I say, you're dressed for past yourself, my dear. Go put on clothes. Show me something. Why don't you show me some respect, Snapper? Tell people that I'm your woman, show me that you love me, and marry me. Delicious, hey. yes, look for me. Even if you have life of suction for your body, you'd marry to you. Even if you win the lottery, you'd marry to you. Yeah, once a trump, all is a trump. But you all know better. Exactly, okay, look. Not even if you won the roll of a lottery. Listen, don't you ever, 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 ever. Snowfall. That's the way I did that I'm going to find him again. You hear me? Kill my baby. If it's what you want, yes, we will help you. Ginger! Don't say that, she's not right in the head. Men are expert, but the two of them is beyond hell. <laughs> Come, put them out of their misery. Come. Nobody is doing any killing, nobody. Right. Then how you kill your stepdaughter, Nicole, and try blame me? I did not kill Nicole, Ginger. Will you get that through your sick head? Nor did I blame you for it either. So why the police arrest me? Well, that's a question for you and the police. You know what, Ginger? You should mind your own business. Oh, listen to you, Lon. Just listen to yourselves. No one is going to kill anyone, whether it's premeditated or not. Ginger, you need Jesus in your life. All right, now Jesus is the only man I would consider. <laughs> Is 
one of them. It's written now in a new one scriptures that Jesus said one said, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. <laughs> yeah? In the red mark, Peter, Luke, and John. Yeah? That's why Judas betrayed him. Jealousy. <laughs> you know, I'll never forgive you. No, I'll never forgive you for what you did to me. You might have a right to go on. Yes, but not from the likes of you. You broke up my marriage to Danny, you, and I'll never forgive you. You know, say so you, you really enjoy the hurt and pain that you cause for me. Me not care what you have to say about me, but Max just get married, and you go and go tell her, beloved Danny, how much you did cut her up, and how you did share with her. Eh? How you expect Danny for the... He's not a man, he's a dirty man. This man had a right to go out. Shut up and come on. I should really kill you. Well, see me, kill me, kill me. But I'm not going to. I'll leave you to the Almighty. What goes around comes around. You're just a dirty old man snapper. Your life serves no purpose. Hey, 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 you want to shut up? Yeah, look away, look happy. Yeah, because none of, none of you said you're better than me. Yeah, because you want to retire, you want to go to war. Yeah. You come here, go and go and like, come on, somebody. Hey, what come, 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 come,
tell me something, Max. Have you ever thought of tying your man so that he doesn't leave you? Many times! Huh? What? Every woman has the same ability to tie her man. If I could tie Danny, I would, just to make sure nobody has to get their hands on him. Tie make it be a burden to me. Yeah, but they're not. Ladies, they're, they're not your property. Oh. But they are. Man must get used and abused. So how do you tie a man then? With rope? <laughs> I knew he was the man for me. And since then, I've been faithful to him and him alone. I've never wanted another man since I met Snapper. But he, he, he's too girly girly and I can't deal with it. I mean, I know all about his affairs, right? And each time I find out, he promises me it will be the last time. So I take him back. And then he goes back and he does the same thing again, or even worse. I mean, I resorted to start Stalking him. Yes. Night after night, I would drive around in my car following him. Just watching to see who he was with, where he was going. I mean, I searched his pockets. I checked his mobile phone. I read his emails. I even searched the bin, just trying to find an address, a number, anything. <laughs> then one day I looked in the mirror, and I didn't like what I saw. I realized I was hurting myself, that I was the problem. I also realized that I was the solution. <laughs> you know, I even tried to kill him once. Kill him, Ross, yes. <laughs> I caught him in our bed with another woman. That was the last straw for me. So do we know the woman? You mean, was it me? <laughs> That's not important now. I took a kitchen knife to him. My God, did I stab him. I stabbed him, I stabbed him, I stabbed him repeatedly. You know what made me stop? Just seeing him lying on the floor in his own blood. So make you never finish him off. <laughs> Why didn't you go after the woman? Max, that's not her fault. You don't know what he told her. Yeah. She was just a pawn in his game. She knew you and Snapper were an item. Well. On this occasion, you're right. She was my sister. What? She not ask me to go for a bleed today. So then they know I hurt her a woman. Ginger, I know all about you and Snapper. I know you have an history. And Maxine. I know that. <laughs> well, I couldn't leave him to die. I just couldn't leave him to die. I love him too much. So did he press charges? No. I nursed him back to help my snapper. <laughs> and then yes, he went right back to where he started. Just as if he never learned a thing. Oh, darling, I never knew you went through this. Why didn't you tell me? Shame. <laughs> it's too shame to say anything to you guys. Do you know what? My mum went through this with my dad. <laughs> Infidelity. I mean, she tried to hide it from us. She was never going to be able to face the truth, though. He was a player. He was mm. never going to change. <laughs> Maybe that's why you can't face the truth about Oscar. Probably. Oh, <laughs> marvelous! Bloody marvelous! <laughs> I almost cry my eyes out there listening to you, not. So, <laughs> Sapa. <laughs> I thought you were gone. I didn't realize you were still here. Yeah. What? Yes. You're still there. But may I leave now? Yes. I know. Go on. You're going to your slut again, aren't you? Hey, she's not a slut, here. Yeah? She's not a slut. You want to follow me? You want the address? You want to follow me? I can look at once. No, sir. Even me have an affair. Are you driving? You cause it. You drive me to it, yeah? Tell me this, Snapper. What has she got that I haven't got? Me and the love. Everything. Hear me? Everything. Firm body. Firm boom boom. Sure. Hey, hey, hey. I don't want the 
understand you, Snapper. Just 20 minutes ago, you told me that you loved me. Did I? Well, listen, you killed me love long time ago when you stabbed me with the kitchen knife, yeah? Well, Snapper, I don't understand you. You said you'd never leave me. Did I? But there, that was just semantics. Semantics? <laughs> but what does that mean? Look for my dictionary, you must say somewhere. Look it up. Look it up. Look, Snapper, I believed you when you said we had a future together. I believed you. No, you didn't. I do now. Well, it's too late, dear. Yeah? Too late shall be your call, right? Look, listen. Look, Snapper, please. Well, listen, is this the charade for you, your friend then? No. Well, all right. Since everything is always my fault, all right? Everything is my fault. All right, you don't have to worry again. Me done, you're done. Me gone. Stop, right? Don't you dare say that to me. Don't you dare. I love you. You don't love me. You need me. Oh, yes, I do need you. Yes, Mom, I need you. Oh, please, don't leave me. I'm begging you. I do stop anything it. you say. Stop it. Stop it. Don't beg him. That's right. Don't beg him. I'm going back to my wife. Okay, okay, Snapper. Just answer me this one question. What? Do you love her? Why? Because I'm pregnant. You know who would read up? What the father? It's yours, Snapper. You know that. It's yours. Man, listen to me now. 50 year old woman like you, not to breed. Yeah, I'm a dad, man. No, no, I tell you, not to breed. Yeah, leave it to the young girl, then. I'm telling you, Snapper, it's yours. Voila, voila. You, you see you? When a man desperate, then you use pregnancy as a trap. Is that is what you're doing, delicious? No. Because right now, there's nothing delicious about you, you know? No. Yeah. Stop no. No. I never do that to you. I'm telling you the truth. It's yours. Listen to me. Listen to me. Just, listen to me. Just, just, just. Stop. Stop. Listen. Please. Please, we can start again. Let's try. Let's try and make it right. Congratulations. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, congratulations. No! No, no, no! What about my baby? Nobody cares about my baby. Oh, shh, shh, shh. You know, no, stop no. being such a jerk. Give her a hug. Who did that to the Man, you're just hard to look at. Yeah, 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 ye
house inside here knew except you. <laughs> Eve made a pass at both myself and Delicious. No worry, honey, we're talking dog. Yeah, we <laughs> Oh, great, thanks. Yeah, I feel so much better now. No, you see why we can't tell you nothing? Because you won't listen to the truth. Everything is Oscar this and Oscar that. And the whole time we all knew what he was doing. I don't care. You should have told me. I suppose it's because I'm white. So how colour coming at this now? Eh? OK, yeah, so he dumped he you. He did not dump me. You're not the first to get dumped, and you won't be the last. Do you know what? You've all betrayed me, every single one of you. <laughs> Keeping my husband's dirty little secrets, no. We I don't were... think I could ever forgive you. We were protecting you. How? Can you help me get him back? No, I don't think so. I've got to work this out for myself. OK. So there was a time a while ago when we weren't getting on so well, and I didn't think I even loved my Oscar anymore. That must have been when he met her. Oh, my God. It's all my fault, isn't it? Yeah, it's oh all your God. fault. Do you feel better now? Yeah, but what's worse, Max? Me telling my husband I don't love him or him sleeping with someone else? Well, you telling him that you don't love him, that's worse. That's giving him permission to do whatever he wants. Right, exactly. So what would you have done if we had told you? Fight. Oh. Fight for my man. Getting him back is the only thing that matters to me. Well, any time you want a man, me just... Click my finger. Anything you want them to do, me just... Click my finger. Quite finished now? Hmm? Yeah, well, that doesn't exactly work for me, Ginger. <laughs> Do you know what? Men are unscrupulous, ignorant, domineering pigs. He used you, No, me. no. I could have done more to save my marriage. What do you take a thing for? Eh? What does any man know about love? Oscar is a serious philanderer. I only mean one inside us. I know that Oscar is a cowardly little piece of shit. Now, you listen to me, Ginger. My husband and my marriage are the two most important things in my life. Yeah. I don't expect you to understand that. <laughs> you see, I can't just click my finger, use people, and then throw them away. Yeah. No, I can't start all over again. I won't do it. <laughs> I mean, how could I ever trust another man again? Click your finger. No, 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 Oscar. A happy man doesn't dwell in the past or long for the future. He lives in the present. Ah, 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 but Inspector, the present cannot deliver anything for a man to find true happiness. He has to live in the moment. Uh -huh. What are you two talking about? Yeah, yeah, come on, that's not what they must say either. We're having an intellectual discussion. You'll be out of your depth. <laughs> I hear what you're saying, sir, but nature dangles happiness and meaning before man. But he cannot have both. But why not? Well, it's quite simple, really. How's that, sir? Because he can't choose. Uh -huh. Yes, I think you're right, sir. Inspector, why are we here? To share information. I'm closing in on the case of Nicole's murder. And you suspect one of us? Or somebody known to you. So you invited us here to arrest us? If you've committed an arrestable offence. No. <laughs> Play games with me, boy. This <laughs> is a murder investigation. I've called you all together tonight, gentlemen, for a better understanding of my prey. Us. We're your prey. May I remind you, Inspector, that you're not the great white hunter, and this is not Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you're right with the first part. Black people are my prey. I don't understand them, how they tick. That's not surprising. Careful, Inspector. Careful of the direction you're going with this. OK. Let me sum up what I know about black people. I know that you people come from slave stock. I also know that the white man captured, educated, and civilized you. Educator. I don't talk nonsense, man. Black people were the original people on the planet. You buggered that up, sir, didn't you? Hey, but, hey listen, how we educate to know we have a rich history. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I can't follow what you're saying, sorry. But I'm sure it's fascinating. Do tell me more. <laughs> 
Inspector, well, don't patronize us. Uh, wait, uh, are you trying to say, Inspector, that the white man is more superior than us? Is that a rhetorical question? I need a better understanding of their, their culture, their background. What stimuli you people respond to, huh? You can't understand that? <laughs> no, I can't understand that. Inspector. What's wrong with you and this you people phrase? The word is black. That's what we are. We are black. Use it. I, th I thought you people. I thought black people didn't like to be called black. No? All right. So, then your parents arrived here as, uh, as cleaners, as, as road sweepers, bus drivers. All the jobs that we didn't want. And, uh, of course, we granted you this kindness in return for your loyalty to England. But what puzzles me most is this. Why, after all the suffering you've been through, why do you start killing each other? Hmm? That I do not understand. <laughs> and then there's your women. Wait, what about them? What about your women? What about them? Your women seem to put being black ahead of being women, or, or, or even human beings, for that matter. Everything they say is about how much they've suffered this or that as a black woman. They wear their blackness like a badge of shame on their foreheads, as if they expect some kind of special treatment. <laughs> and now, because of the insanity of political correctness, we all have to tiptoe around these women just because of their pigmentation. <laughs> Do you know, I kind of agree a little bit there with the inspector. <laughs> Oscar, how can you agree with that? <laughs> no, 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 hold on a minute, hold on a minute, Snapper. What? Are you afraid of the truth? Sometimes it's good to realise how other people perceive us. Carry on, inspector, carry on. What about your children? Do you think they can offer society anything? Well? Do you? Somebody can bag that man in mode. The question, sir, is this. Who is it that's bringing up these unruly black boys and girls you see on the streets? Huh? Well, isn't it their black mothers? Huh? Your women. Gentlemen, your women are so full of hatred towards you. They're lovers. They're unfaithful husbands that they couldn't control who've left them for someone else, someone better. You mean like a white woman? Ah. <laughs> Quite. I myself would never go out with a black woman. No black woman, no want you. <laughs> They're producing pointless broken offspring. Sir. Most of whom are dead by the time they reach 15? Absolutely. This is how the black woman gets revenge on the man she couldn't control, poisoning the minds of his children against him. And she will never admit to what she's done. No. That's because they can't see it. So what can we do? Well, it's not the role models. What? <laughs> like 50 Cent and Beanie Man. No, 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 no. How can those people help our children when they can't even help themselves? Now, let me tell you something. The problem, it lies with us. It lies with the men. Gentlemen, <laughs> enough of this psychoanalysis. Inspector, can we move on, please? Yes, as you wish. I've conducted a number of background checks on each one of you as individuals. Uh, we are to go by river. <laughs> Inspector. The only question I want answered this evening is, who murdered my little girl? Of course, you're not alone. I have to clear up a few matters, though, before I can make an arrest. Okay. Uh, is it one of us? Yes. 
I believe that one of you here was involved. <laughs> well, one of me. Oscar, how long were you married to Nicole's mother before you married Chloe? Well, I don't know, maybe about five, six years. Four years, to be precise. Uh, so if you know that already, why you mother ask the man? <laughs> well, I'll take your word for it, yeah. In 1997, with the help of your current wife, Chloe, didn't you fake your own kidnapping to get your hands on the money? Well, Oscar? Why would I do that? Oh, come on, Oscar. Like all black men, you dabbled in drugs. That's a lie! Is it? Your IT business was failing. You desperately needed a cash injection. Indeed, I have the files here, Oscar. Denial is no longer an option for you, but Nicole's mother caught you, didn't she? Not only raiding the money from the trust fund, but also in your affair with Chloe. And then, by an eerie coincidence, she died in a fire. A raging inferno which also took the life of her daughter. A fire which you started. Do you deny that, sir? Hmm? Will you confess? To what? Supposition? Can you prove any of this, Inspector? It sounds like lies and fabrications made up by you. All right. I had an affair with Chloe. But you can't arrest me for that. You'd have to arrest half of the men out there if that was a crime. Instinct. Instinct tells me you were partly responsible for these crimes. Fact. You're not the biological father of those twins, are you? Hmm? Which, of course, would explain why you behaved so coldly the night that Nicole died. You didn't even want to see her. And if you realise what I knew... <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, come on, Oscar. Unless you want to make this a very long night for all of us. Just admit that you know the twins aren't yours. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. They're not mine. That is why you were able to raid the trust fund, Oscar, and have them killed. You're right about one thing, you know, Inspector. When I met the twins' mother, she was about two months pregnant. Yeah. She didn't tell me they were mine. She lied to me. Yeah, she put it on me and said, yes, they are yours, but you're right. I found out about two years later, after I took this DNA test. Do you know what it's like for a man to find out that the children that he has raised are not his own? Hmm. I wonder, do you know who is the father of the twins? No, I don't, and I don't care either. I have their mother's diary here. She kept an impeccable list of who she'd slept with and when she slept with them. And here named as the father of the twins, Mr. Kendrick Fisher. Kendrick? Alias Kung Fu. I told you. Kendrick? I never met a woman before and I've never slept with a prostitute. Another one of your 30 seeds you forgot about, eh? Don't provoke me, boy. Kung Fu, I have two birth certificates here, each bearing your signature as the father. Show me. That was a long time ago. <laughs> Ten years is no time at all. Inspector, can I leave? And then we have JP. And what about JP? <laughs> you did time in prison, didn't you? JP! My wife, Ginger, set me up. But I did my time for that, OK? Yeah, yes, JP, you know you do, but what you do, what you do, what you do, what you do? JP! Not that it's any of your business, but I was falsely accused of inappropriately touching one of my clients. What? Traces of your semen were found in her mouth. Ooh. While she was under anaesthetic. Ooh. Anyway, that's another 
to see a moat. I don't know not to see a moat. You, sir, were in a position of trust and you abused it. I did no such thing. But that's not all. I have more information on file here. And what else do they say? That, uh, you did time in prison for sleeping with rent boys you found on the internet. I was framed! Ah, that's what they all say. I have a son who's a pervert. I am not, I tell you. Hello? Good. And you've arrested her? No, I'll be there shortly. Wonderful news, gentlemen. The breakthrough we've all been waiting for. I want you all to stay here until I return. Why are you coming back? <laughs> to make an arrest. One of you's going to prison for a very long time. Father of twins and you can't even remember anything about them. At least I never slept with a man. Listen, listen, listen. JP, you can't blame your father for any of this. The twins' mother was a complete liar. I know what you're saying, Oscar, but it seems as if the inspector is hell-bent and arresting at least one of us for her death. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Oscar? I think I've made a mistake with my wife. What? what? She don't got more time business already. You left her. Make sure she's still rotten. We don't want more. Hold on a minute, Snapper. I happen to value our relationship. So why you have an affair? Why you have an affair? How could I have been so stupid? Oh, I take it that things didn't work out between you and that Mavis girl you were so besotted with. So hold on. You expect anything to work out with that girl named like Mavis? <laughs> Look, listen. I'm not trying to make excuses, okay, for my wife, but if she'd just taken a little bit more care of me, I wouldn't have strayed. I was just yearning for my wife to show me a little bit of love and affection. And then when she told me that she loved someone else, I just lost it. So why do you think your wife stopped loving you? <laughs> the man, cocky gun, off. <laughs> Listen, Snapper, huh? if you can't say anything intelligent, <laughs> Like now. Just keep your mouth shut, please. Yeah? Shut it. <laughs> she started to go to church. What? A white woman taking up church? Now that is impossible. <laughs> I, I used to, when they find God, you know, no more pum pum for you. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, Mavis, she gave me everything that was lacking in my marriage. I can tell you what that is. <laughs> Tender, loving care, huh? I'm telling you, brother, and some passionate lovemaking. Oh, my God, was that lovemaking passionate? Well, Chloe must have given you all them things. Yes, yeah, she did, but then she started to get comfortable. She didn't feel, she felt as though she didn't have to make an effort. Every time I tried to spice up the sex life, nothing. <laughs> She's having an affair. What? Chloe, give me Oscar Bud. <laughs> without no, cheese, no, no. without cheese. <laughs> no. No, no, no. She's no slag, man. She's not like some of those whores that you sleep around with, Snapper. She's not like that. Ah, well, if he's been a complaint about them, let me tell you, man, there's more than one year to find out if you woman are cheap on you, yeah? One, if she was as meek as a lamb, and all of a sudden, she start tear up the sheet and I kick and I scream and I cry like a banshee, eh? <laughs> Trust me, and next man, now your candy shop, I eat out your sweetie. <laughs> what? 
most women think that men are idiots. Yeah. Look, listen. Have any of you guys ever been in love? You know that feeling when you, you just can't stop thinking about the woman for a second. Yeah. And every time you do, the hair on the back of your head just stands up. <laughs> what, Oscar? Where you get here to stand up by the back of your head? So me stand up, but I don't know, you're back of your head. You know what? I know Chloe loves me, man. I just can't handle the fact that she might be out there sleeping with another man. <laughs> then you don't stay in the ass of her. <laughs> yeah, then you don't stay next man I'll fuck your wife, do not <laughs> And I could ask somebody you know. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you know, Oscar, it's the same thing for Chloe, though, you know. You're going around having an affair with a woman who is half her age. How do you think that makes her feel? Listen, guys. I know a lot of what you're saying is true, but let me tell you the real reason why I think Chloe's behaving like this. She's going through her early menopause. Ooh. And I just can't handle all the sudden mood changes and mood swings, man. It's just too much. Star, you did a woman who go through her menopause. Yeah. Eh? And you see there in there, start left her, left her. We are doing like we are going through her menopause and our body soon pop down. Eh? Star, star, hear me? You see that baby is doing? Right, right, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Snapper, yeah, man. Snapper what? do you know that scientists have proven that men do go through a version of menopause? It's called, it's called andropause. Shut your shit, you andro! Monogamy, having one sexual partner at a time. But JP, you can do better. Yeah? <laughs> you can't get no woman unless you are an ascetic. Yeah? <laughs> Apart from Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Snap. <laughs> do you, the snapper, do you ever get jealous? Me, Star, jealous, Star, man. Jealous of a weakling, Star. But sometimes we pretend, you know, just right. to make the woman them feel good. Yeah, star, yeah. me is an alpha male. No woman. No woman can control me. Yeah? Alpha, alpha male. Oh, alpha, male. alpha, alpha male. No woman can control star. him. Alpha no, male. Them, man. <laughs> That's star. what I tried. Star, you see all your woman, no. Chloe? Where? See, see you, like, oh, what do you there. mean? What? There. My life's just an open book for you and your friends to have a good old laugh about, isn't it? You just trample over me and my feelings. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Don't you sweetheart me. I heard what you said about how I'm too old for you, <laughs> about how you don't want me because I'm approaching menopause, about how you think you're more desirable to younger women. <laughs> this menopause is ruining my life. I know I've passed it. Yeah, I know I've got hot flushes. I know sex is painful. Oh, come on. How am I meant to get through this menopause when you don't longer love me? Hmm? Do you know what? It's my birthday today. Oh, yeah. How long have we been married? Can't even remember my birthday. So what are you going to do about it? About what? About us. 
I want you to come home, Oscar. I want things to be the way they were for us to be a family again. I don't know. What? Oh, just get out, Snapper. No, 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 wait a minute, darling. Leave Snapper alone. He's all right. He's my friend. He no, I him. don't want him here. And what do you mean you don't know? Well, I've got a pass. I don't care about that. Just come home. <laughs> I heard what you were saying, you know, Snapper. Trying to convince Oscar I've been having an affair? Well, you're wrong. I love Oscar, and what possible reason would I have to cheat on him? Ah, women cheat, you yeah? hear? That's a fact. Ah, women cheat! <laughs> Listen, you little wanker. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't care what you think. You see, I love Oscar, and I would never, ever cheat on him. Should you even be drinking? Just give me a break, Chloe. What's the problem? Uh, what would a few drinks do? Oh, I don't know. Uh, the baby. What baby? Oh, for goodness sake. Me? Pregnant? I'm over 50, for God's sake. What would I be doing with a child? So you lied to snap her? Sorry? You lied to snap her? Yeah. I know you wouldn't understand this, Miss Goody Goody Two Shoes, but. Even though I love Snapper, I still find the need to control the little bastard. But, but what would you have done if he'd have wanted the baby? If he'd have wanted to stay with you, what then? Tell him the truth. <laughs> I lost the baby! Unbelievable. You were never even pregnant! That's right. But what do men know? It's my body. Trap his ras, yes. <laughs> Beats me why you'd want to trap that promiscuous little shit anyway. I mean, he'd just leave you in the end. Yeah, that's true. But even a man like Snapper, you still find the need to hold on to him. <sighs> hang on, hang on. Are you trying to tell me to get rid of him? Oh, no, 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 we won't get involved with any of that. Okay. <laughs> I feel like a like a prisoner. Chloe, are you okay with this? Why has the inspector asked us to be here? I've got an appointment at the hairdressers and I'm going to be late. And that is all you want to know. Yes, Ginger. I have to look good for my man 24-7. Oh, Danny. Him left, you remember? <laughs> News flash, we're back together. Oh, congratulations, Max. Thank I'm you. I'm scared. Come on, scared of what? You haven't done anything. That inspector is up to something, I can tell. I mean, can you believe he, he didn't even tell me mm. Nicole was alive? For what? I had the number one suspect. <laughs> yeah, regardless, I'm her mother and he should have told me. <laughs> I mean, have you any idea what me and Nicole have been through? What it's been like for me to bring up a black child? All those questions she would ask me. If you're my mummy, why are you white and I'm black? Just tell her the truth. I always do. But the, the looks I'd get from people, piercing stares, my own people calling me a sellout. I mean, there was this one. <laughs> what was it? What was it? A rat! A rat! A rat! Why the mum said rat with a yellow one? Why the rat was that? A rat? Yes. Ginger, 
How are you? You want something delicious? No. Well, no question me. I'm just trying to be supportive. Why? Me look like me need support. Well, I heard that JP threw you out. Well, no make that bother you. Become a replace that already. <laughs> me just click my finger. With a married man, no doubt. So you're spy for me now, huh? Look, there's no need to be hostile, Ginger. I'm only trying to be friendly. No, you come to gloat over my breakup and my imprisonment. <laughs> but don't be too fast to pity me, seeing that you can't even control your own man. JP was a good man, Ginger. So make you not go there with him. <laughs> Lighten up. No, Lighten if up. you want him, take him. You can't even swap him for your precious Danny. I won't mind, I promise. You know? You have a chip on your shoulder. Mm. We are not the enemies here. You see, as soon as the investigator done with what I'm after do, me and you know, the whole of friendship and me done. You're not welcome in my home. Oh. Just a small one, please, Chloe. Yes, Chloe, just a small one for JP. That's all him can manage. <laughs> Why are you pushing up your frowsy self on me? Yeah. See a woman there. Oh, hey, every day that guy said you look more beautiful. Eh? Hey. Did you rest all fat? Them not do my favor, no? And stop me so perfect. Eh? Listen to me, Snapper. Danny and I are back together, right? And I'm not interested, okay? Okay, sir. Delicious. Please put a leash on your man. Snapper. You've been warned! There we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Ah. Good evening, ladies. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. God bless my eyesight. You ladies look stunning. A poo poo me, I look. I look Um, has the inspector arrived yet? Um, uh, do you see Mosca? <laughs> no, I don't, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if you've heard, but apparently the inspector believes that someone in here tonight is the murderer. Now, he said two, two, he said two. <laughs> well, I know that I am innocent. I know who the murderer is. I think it's ask a woman, Chloe. What, the... <laughs> what reason would I have to kill someone, Snapper? No, no, no. Well, shut it then. Someone. What? You called Nicole someone. She's supposed to be your daughter, remember? Yeah, I'm here when she accused you of hurting her. What is this? My friends think I'm actually capable of hurting Nicole. Well, we are not your friends. No, 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 hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Let's just stop all this witch hunting. It's obvious that the inspector has put us against each other. Now listen mm -hmm. to me. Think about this. If Chloe was guilty, why would the inspector release her? Lack of evidence. Oh. <laughs> Delicious, tell him I could never hurt Nicole. <laughs> Delicious? Well, well, <laughs> all right. If I'm guilty, then so are you. Look, Chloe, you know I've always defended you, whether I thought you were right or wrong. But I don't know. I, I don't want to go to prison. Not for you, not for anyone. Well, it stands to reason, then. It must be Chloe. She's the one with the motive, the most to gain. Leave her alone! Oh. What? You're guilty. I can't believe you're all treating me like this. I mean, I'm 
still one of you, aren't I? Well, Chloe, none of us had any reason to hurt Nicole. So it must be you, so just own up. Oh, OK, fine. Yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah, I tried to kill Nicole. Oh, and her mother as well, yeah. Yeah, you forgot that one. Mm, there you go. Satisfied? Is that what you wanted to hear? Chloe! Look, Chloe, you really didn't do it, did you? Of course I bloody well didn't. Well, tell that to just now, you murderer. Murderer! What is your problem, Michelle? What about Ginger? Oh! <laughs> me the one that went in the worst way, Tom. That's a lie! <laughs> Do you hear me, Chloe? That is a lie. I did no such thing. Well, you're a man and she's got no reason to lie. Yeah, but I'm also your husband and you better believe me. I'm telling you, I would never touch that! Not nice to be wrongly accused, is it, Oscar? Aren't we overlooking one person? Hey, two persons, two, two. <laughs> Max. What's wrong with this old fool? Has the balls flying to your head? Well, if I am guilty, so are you and your son. Guilty you of what? Sleeping with a prostitute, fathering twins, and then arranging for them to be bumped off. Thought I didn't know. What reason would I have for killing the twins? Not you, your son, JP. And how did I come into this? <laughs> I didn't touch not one of them. Well, you are guilty of going to prison for being a batty man. <laughs> think of all the contacts you could have had in there. So think before you start pointing a finger. I am not a batty man. What? Well, since Oscar's married to Chloe, then he must be involved as well. And what would my motive be? Nicole's trust fund. <sighs> what? Oh, come on, Oscar. Don't play the unjustly accused here. Everybody knows that you're a liar and a cheat. You knew those twins weren't yours, yet you never told Chloe. That's because I didn't want to. I didn't want to hurt her. And also, you know, I just wanted the twins to. I wanted the twins to be with me, and I just didn't. Well, that's motive enough. What about him? I oh. could <laughs> This child is a wonderful spirit. Thankfully, she has survived an horrific attempt on her life by someone in this room. Tonight, I will unmask that person. We've already solved that case ourselves, Detective. Yes. We know who the murderer is. Mm -hmm. mm. And who would that be? Ginger. She did it. <laughs> and how did you come to that conclusion? Money. She's a greedy bitch. So you think it was Ginger? That's right. No, you're wrong. Well, I know she suffered, what with the loss of her father when she was six, hated by her mother, raped by a gang of boys at school, abused by countless men. Her only power now is her body. It is fast, Fiedi. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> but she's not a murderer. So who then? Be patient. Hang on, detective. If Nicole isn't dead, then there's no crime, so you can't charge anyone. Excuse me, detective, I'm speaking to you and I do not like to be ignored. And you're the expert on criminal matters now, are you? I take no notice of her. Answer me this. You've arrested most of us in this room for one reason or another and then released us. Why? But it's quite obvious that the real murderer here is this white trash. <laughs> Chloe, you say? Yes, the pair of them. Oscar and Chloe. What? <laughs> 
You, um, you black people tend to be very religious, yes? Still examining in your prayer. Mm. Who are we to question? Thou shalt not huh? tempt the Lord thy God. Lord thy God. <laughs> May I remind you, sir, that <laughs> what's been done in the name of your God makes him the biggest mass murderer in history. Mm. Worse than Hitler. Inspector. What about the time of Noah when he flooded the earth with water killing everything in its path? Who gives a damn about that? Do your job and arrest them both. All in good time, Michelle. Ooh, are we to question God's plans for us? Oh. We are sinners! If you believe in that shit, it's no wonder your race is so backward, is it? <laughs> Michelle! <laughs> where is your twin sister? Hmm? Twin. Twin. twin! She's dead and good riddance to her. Yes, I asked if you know where she is. Huh? She's buried with your daughter, isn't that right? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. The person who tried to hurt you, are they in this room now? Yeah? She's a child, Inspector. She doesn't understand. Will you shut up, please? Think carefully. Is the person who tried to hurt you in this room right now? Yes? Okay. I want you to do something for me. I want you to go and touch the person who tried to hurt you. Can you do that? Yeah. Inspector, why are you putting her through Will this? Will you she shut up, know. please? Off you go. I'll be right here. No need to be scared. try to kill her. Let's find out, shall we? That lady there you just touched, do you know her? My mummy. Your mummy's dead. You hear me? Dead, you little bitch, she's dead. This is impossible. She must be confused. I, I knew Nicole's mother. It was Shelly Ann. She was my best friend and she's dead. Yes. That is what Shelly Ann wanted you to think. With her face reconstructed with plastic surgery. It was actually Michelle, her sister, that died in that fire. Isn't that right, Shelly Ann? <laughs> That's right, Inspector. I'm surprised it took you this long. I fooled all of you. This can't be right. I mean, I wouldn't know. Would you now, you cow? With all the plastic surgery that I had to reconstruct my face and change my appearance, and if that kid had stayed dead, then I would have gotten away with it. But why? Revenge. Uh, what, what about the Down syndrome baby that you... Ah, you fools! Stupid people! I adopted a Down syndrome child that I knew didn't have long to live, to have my revenge. Jesus revenge on who? One of us? We all love Nicole. Me? Shelly Ann? Shut up, you thieving little slut. I hate you. You destroyed my life! <laughs> oh, 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 my God! Oh, my God! Yeah, look. <laughs>
get revenge on me and Chloe. That's why, Oscar, I loved you unconditionally. And you betrayed me, your wife. I've waited nine years for this, to see you two suffer for what you did to me. You may remember there were two people involved. Maybe we should talk to JP. JP? JP? Why me? Because you were the mastermind behind it all. You killed Nicole, and you tried to frame Chloe by murdering Bam Bam because he was on to you. What? what? Nobody wants to! Now, don't do anything stupid. JP! You'll not get away with this, JP, I can assure you. We'll see about that white boy. JP, man. Michelle, come over here. And don't do anything stupid, OK? If any harm comes to that child, I'll hunt you down and kill you, JP, you hear me? So you do prefer your other children over well, just here? Just calm down, everybody. Oh, Nothing is going to happen to Natasha. Nothing. Natasha! Natasha. That's right. This is the other twin they tried to get rid of. We traced her to a children's home where she'd been abandoned. That's a lie! Just calm down. Michelle, get the door. What? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not,